Hello, welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the isochromes from a point and from a layer. Isochromes are used to find the delivery routes, delivery reach, reachability from a point. Yeah. While the matrix is used to find them, um, it's more like a um time and like a table of travel time travel time analysis, travel distance analysis between several points from one point to other points. Yeah. In the last video, we are able to see how to create different points, how to create different, the, a route between multiple points on your layer, how to avoid polygons, how to avoid certain routes. So here we have our points layer. We can turn this off. And take it off so you have our points layer i want to show the isochromes from these points let's see want to walk between these points let's go to web we'll set it at walkability distance then we'll create this isochromes from a layer you can create it from a point creating from a point simply means that you select the points on your map but creating from a layer means that you already have a pre-filled layer on your QGIS window, which you want to create these isochromes for. So our travel mode, we set our travel modes to foot walking. We set our travel modes to foot walking. You select your input layer as points. If there are several points and you have just a couple of points to select from it, you can select this on the attribute table and then click on select the features only. And then your MP field is set that name. Time, let's say time. You can set your dimension to time or distance. If anyone you select, this is what applies. It's in minutes for time and meters for distance. So if you want to see how many minutes it will take you, how, how much distance how much coverage, how much reachability you have in 10 minutes of driving a car from a certain point, then you can use these settings. But we are walking this time, so let's take a walk. When we are done with that, you can save your layer to a preferred directory, save file. I don't need mine, so I'll leave it for a temporary layer. When we are done with this, click on run. Now it says run, click on close, close. Now you see this point. So this is our point. And then in five minutes, this is how far we can go. In 10 minutes, this is how far we can walk. In five minutes, this is how far we can go. In 10 minutes, this is how far we can go. So if you are going to, if you are offering a delivery service and you can know that, oh, this is a pickup location. And then in five minutes and in 10 minutes, you can offer your customers that any customer that falls within this region receives his delivery in 10 minutes. Any customer that falls within this region receives their delivery in five minutes only, depending on their reachability. So that'll be it for that. Then we can create a distance travel time matrix. Travel time matrix. Still using that same points layer. We want to see the distance between this point the travel time between these points we will set our id fields to name you can select multiple layers actually so if you have one two points layers and you want to see the travel time between one point layer to another point layer your input start point will be this and your input end point will be the next layer your end field will still set it to name of course you can save your file to your preferred directory, I'll leave mine as temporary and open it when done. When we are done, we'll run this file and close it. So it really doesn't create anything for us as a layer which you can view on the map. But when you right click and open attributes table, we see all we need here. So from point one to point one, it takes zero hours. It takes zero kilometers because it's same point, right? Yes. 
But from point one to point two, we see that it takes 0.03 hours and then 1.9 kilometers. And from one to three, one to four, two to one, just like that. So we can create a table of values, the travel time of values to see the distance in kilometers and in hours to get from one point to another. I hope you found this video helpful. Did you find any other special tools in ORS tools? If there are other updates in the future, I'll be sure to update this video with new updates. Yeah. Do well to like, comment, and share, and subscribe to the Special Data Hub. And I'll see you in the next video.